dungeons and dragons. And junk drawer. What's up, guys? We're back. Tell me, tell me what you want. What you really, really want? Man, I'll tell you what I want. What I really, really want. I wanna. Uh, 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 I wanna, uh, I wanna uh, uh, talk to uh, Devin. Uh, really, uh, t talk to Devin uh, down. <laughs> What's up, guys? We are back with another episode of Dungeons and Dragons and Junk Drawer. Ding. Ding. We are going to get started with uh, some shout outs very quickly because we are a little later than normal. We're going to start first with the man, the myth, my brother, Josh Delgado. <gasps> oh, hey. Oh, I wasn't prepared. Um, shout out to the door to do door to door salesman who came in to my house and talked to me about the thing he was selling door to door. Uh, he's also from Tampa. He's also Puerto Rican and his family also went to New York. So he's basically eight years younger. Me. What's up? It's actually me. I discovered time travel. So shout out to me for discovering time travel. Wow, um, out, outside of that, uh, shout out to Chia coin, the cryptocurrency. I, finished my first plot of chia coin and that's fun for me if anyone else is interested in uh cryptocurrency feel free to hit me up and we can nerd talk about it and otherwise as is tradition um and this is great for uh jds and therefore the world on three we will say our customary motto all right uh one two three Bro, fuck you, Donovan. Donovan. That's right, fuck you, Donovan. And just as a heads up, I do delay myself because there is a half second delay between you guys talking and me talking. That's right. Okay, back to you, Pat, in the studio. I'm in the studio, allegedly. We are going to throw it right back out to Mike Spillane. Oh, wow. Thank you, Pat. Uh, Mike from the field here. Um, <laughs> follow us on Twitter at The Junk Drawer Show and follow us on Instagram at The Junk Drawer Show. And now follow us on TikTok at The Junk Drawer Show so you can laugh at us being the old guys on TikTok. Uh, but at the same time, who's really laughing? Because I posted a TikTok about a D&D &D feat and it got like 600 views and 70 likes and we had no followers before that happened. So, hey, we might be good at that. Um, so go us more TikTok content is going to be coming and we're going to put short form versions of it on Instagram in the form of reels and shout out to Memorial Day, uh, not for the holiday portion of it, but for the fact that I got a five day weekend starting on Thursday. So woo! back to you, Pat in the studio. Love you still in the studio. Love you back. Throwing it out into our next field agent. Dice daddy. Yes, it's me on the field. Uh, I would like to shout out, first and foremost, grandmas. Thanks for making me dinner and breakfast and being sweet. Also, no shout outs to grandmas. Thanks for making a two-minute task 30 minutes. <laughs> um, Were you staring at her in the eyes when you said that? <laughs> no, but the door's there. She's in her room. She can't hear me. Mostly because she's deaf. Um, anyway, shout out to ACs. <laughs> maybe you'll work, maybe you won't. We'll find out in 20 minutes. Back to you in the studio, Pat. Here in the studio, AC is working just fine. Our final correspondent of the night, our art master himself, Carlos. That's me. Um, I want to give out two shout outs. First one to Random Encounter Productions uh, because they put up with me every week as well. Um, you can check them out on Twitch and all other social medias at REPRPG um, for Random Encounter Productions RPG. Uh, they're actually going to be doing another PvP tournament battle uh, coming up soon. Um, so check out all their social media for details on that. And then the other one that I'm just going to randomly shout out, it's to the app called CapCut. I've actually been learning how to video edit for <gasps> new things coming. Um, and that app has actually been helping me out doing my first learning, you know, video editing stuff. So, you know, they don't sponsor us, but if they want, Hey, check us out, you know? Um, but yeah, it's a pretty fun app to use, especially if you're, editing videos and podcasting for the first time so check it out that's i think for android and uh ios so back to you pat back to me uh i would like to start out by getting back on the train of thanking my wife for letting me play imagination with you guys every week i greatly appreciate it she's amazing and wonderful um we took a break from that just because 
There was more pressing things to discuss. Uh, I would also like to shout out Mainline Marketing in Winter Park, Florida. Uh, they were so kind to give us this MV7 and this MV7. So we are uh, eternally in your debt. I will be hosting more podcasts for you starting tomorrow. Um, we have quite a few that are going to be coming out that we'll let you guys know when that's up. If you want to listen to some podcast content about some different creators, uh, Junk Drawer will be on there eventually. So all good things. We are very excited to have a partnership with them, potentially be getting more stuff from them. Uh, and it's just a little more work. You know, it's whatever. It's not a big deal. We like to podcast things and, you know, I don't need to sleep all the time. So... Um, it's been great. We love it. Uh, with all of that being said, die out here whenever you're ready. Okay. Last time we were all together, um, <laughs> we essentially we had the party, and it was essentially uh, you guys were trying to lock down the arcane ethereal gate from Mesfelheim. As uh, more and more monsters were coming out, I believe you fought a um, another salamander, a uh, magma elemental, and then the two fire giants that both of you, uh, both of them, were taking care of uh, very nicely. Very big kudos to you guys. Uh, currently, we are in the midst of being covered in just mucus and viscera and cartilage from Thor exploding the uh, the previous fire giants. And uh, you guys are in front of the gate. So uh, take it away, you guys. Oh, my God. I, uh, <sighs> this is not great. And uh, Thor's going to kind of come down from the sky and uh, just kind of take a knee. He's kind of tired. Uh, he's been hit quite a few times. So oh, you know, you're, 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 you're not looking so good. I, uh, hey, we're alive, so it could be worse, I guess. We can't You're keep this right. up, guys. What, I mean, what option do we have? we got to let these people get to the boats. I know, but uh, I think we have 30-something gates open. Hold on. I wrote it down. Uh, okay, so I only see nine, but it feels like 30. There are more. <laughs> okay, so there's like 30 gates. Um, there's no way we can do it. Not the five of us. Six of us. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I want to say we could handle this, uh, but shit, you guys were not over-exaggerating when you said hurry. Uh, holy shit. No. Thor, do you know any way to close a gate like this? I assume it's of our realm. Uh... Would I know of a way to close a gate like this? You Dice Daddy? Certainly. Uh, you can roll an Arcana check. All right. I mean, it's not the worst. 13. 13. Um, you know, with most basic gates, there is a usually an entry point. I mean, gates are two sided. So things can go in and things can go out. Um, any kind of control panel possibly could be within Musfelheim. Um, but that would be another story. Uh, no, I don't know how to close a gate like this. Um, I just... We'd probably have to go to, to Musfelheim in order to close this gate. Or these particular gates... I don't know what that word means, but that sounds bad. I believe you guys call it the fire plane. Sounds real bad. Yeah, I don't like that. It's a plane of fire, so... I gather that. Everyone roll a history check to know if you know what the fire plane is. The sequel to the movie Soul Plane? Okay. Fire. All right, right, Mike. Uh, 30 points psychic damage. They said history, right? Yes. Everyone uh, make four, a history check. 14. Same. Eight. Uh, natural 20 for a 26. Okay. So, I mean, all of you would mostly know that the fire plane is the, is literally that. It's a, uh, it's 
as you're in kind of the uh, <clears throat> middle uh, ground, the fire plane is one of just four different elements. And in between those elements are subplanes. Um, and the fire plane has been described as uh, it is a plane continually ablaze. It smells of burning flesh and ashen dreams. And it is flame incarnate. So most things, um, it's like stepping into the the maw of an ancient red dragon. Hmm. Well, um, go ahead. Hmm. No, go for it. Um, well, sounds like there's only one way to find out. Thor, would you like to accompany me? Uh, accompany you to... Let's look through the portal. Before you go. What... Yeah, uh, you go first, Thok, before uh, I say the thing that I was going to say. Well, you don't look so well, so I'm oh, going to I'm no. gonna remedy that a little bit. Um, I'm going to walk up to Thor, and I'm like, this is going to hurt. And I'm going to, like, take my hand along Eclipse and slice it a little bit. And then slam his forehead as I cast life transference from me to him. And that'll be... Oh, oh shit. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> 10. 20. 26. So I take 26 damage. What's 26 times 2? 52. 52. So you take... Because that was at level 5, too. You take 65 hit points. Holy shit. Oh. Okay. I, f I feel bright and cheery. Um, as that's um, Brother, I would like to accompany you. What happens if we get stuck on the other side? Do you have any way of getting us back here? No, but I think that it's going to stay open, and at the very least, we can look into it and see what we see. See if there's anything there that could be helpful. And as I'm saying this, I'm walking over to Ned. And um, when I finish that sentence, I look to Ned and say, Hello, Ned. Can I ride you, please? Okay. Um, I'm going to need you to roll an animal handling check. And I need all of you to roll perception checks. I was going to ask if uh, there's anything else coming out of gates within eyesight. Within Obviously, eyesight. I'm on the ground. So I don't know what I can see and what I can't. Go ahead, and Thor, you can roll an investigation check. So you said uh, perception? Mm hmm And animal handling for yes. you. Yes. Because you're uh, trying to... 14. Dice 14. Daddy. Okay. Perception was a 3. Uh, animal handling was a 9. Great. Uh, um, and Loki, Bad what's nine. your passive perception? Uh, 11. Okay. Uh, my perception was a 25. 23. Okay. So we will start with Thor first. Uh, out of the archaic and uh, arcanic gates, you see different things uh, where Ned originally kind of hailed from, where he was a wyvern uh, that was ridden into battle. You kind of see more that are starting to go into the sky. Uh, you see that there are more things that are set ablaze coming out and scorching uh, the earth. And uh, with all of your perceptions, because it's not um, very stealthy, unfortunately, um, <clears throat> you do see that there is a, another massive hand that is coming out attached to a very, very large sword coming out of the gate. Um, guys? Oh no! Uh, this this seems like a bad one. Ned, roll initiative. Fuck. This That's die can't good. fucking roll tonight. Time to switch it. Oh, oh yes. god, he's yellow. Oh god. Oh boy. Tundra. Oh, no. You, <laughs> you got to stop using D and D Beyond because we're gonna start <laughs> making fun of you. <laughs> what? Mike saw it. <laughs> I think that too. You can see my initiative on there. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> let's see what that is. 
You'll 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 find out. <laughs> you'll oh, find out. <laughs> right, okay. Um. So, out comes a another where the former fire giants they were wearing this black pewter armor with copper interlays. This is one of the first silvers you've seen since Egan, as he is just a mountain, no pun intended, of a man, just thick, um, and just massive pauldrons of just stone and metal, and he carries this giant sword, and uh, I didn't roll initiative for him yet. So, uh, while I do that, <clears throat> did anyone get a 20 or higher? Okay, 15 or higher. 19. Okay. Oh, fuck all of you. Because <laughs> I saw what Pat rolled, too. 10 or oh, higher. No, that, wasn't, that wasn't my roll. Okay. <clears throat> it's worse than that. <laughs> ten or, Six. 10 or higher. Oh, no. Okay, what did everyone get? I got a six. Ha, yeah, four. Ha, yeah, two. Patterns. Oh, fucking hell. Can Tibrin <laughs> roll? We need your crossbow. <laughs> We need you in there, man. man. (laughs) Um, Sorry. Uh, There's a lot going on. Um, I gathered that. Okay, so we will start at the top of the round. Uh, Aldo, you're up, my guy. (laughs) Boy, Um, cool, cool, cool. As you Um, see this massive, just fire giant come out. Okay. Um... Okay, um, I'm, I guess, not within reach of him, uh, so I am just going to kind of just not have an idea. I am going to uh, wild shape into a giant eagle and uh, get some airtime. Okay, so you're going to bacaw into a giant eagle. Mm -hmm. Um, Give me one moment. I may have an eagle piece. Because we want to be as accurate as possible, y'all. That'd be tight. That'd be tight. Um, I have an eagle seal. You're going to use that. Okay. Um, There you go. There's uh, Alder the eagle. How big is it? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, go ahead and give me is it a are you large in size or medium in size uh, giant eagle I believe is a large beast <clears throat> yeah do 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 okay yep you're large in size so let's make you a little bit thicker um so okay i'm way bien Woo! look at me go i'm big <clears throat> okay so you are now a giant eagle anything else we're doing fly boy uh i'm just going to use some movement to kind of give myself some distance and go up in the air uh because i have an 80 foot flight speed mm-hmm. um so i'm just gonna kind of put myself away and kind of just pop back over this way okay. and that'll end my turn um i can still understand common so yeah that's about it all right so with that uh we will move on to thor oh fuck uh i'm gonna look at loki and just be like is he running away hell if i know um i'm just gonna kind of shrug my shoulders and <clears throat> do nothing good um i am going to throw the hammer twice okay <clears throat> excuse me uh that's a 24 okay 24 will hit and then that's a 25 25 will also hit cool 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 i've got to throw it and that's different Damage, probably. Yeah, that's a D8. Cool, 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 cool. So, 
Sorry, new new stuff. Not good at it yet. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Uh, seven plus five is twelve for the first hit. Another seven plus is twenty-four, and then I get to roll. 20... What did I say? 24? 24. Mm -hmm. Okay, so add 3 lightning, 27. 4 lightning, 31. 3 lightning, 34. 3 lightning, 37. Okay. So, 37? Yeah. Okay. Very palpable hit. As you throw Mjolnir and... It cr- you hear this deafening crack as it makes contact with the giant's jaw, and before it goes off too far, it almost stops and swivels back before hitting him on the other side of the jaw. I'm also going to kind of move back a little bit. Okay. And advise everyone else to do the same. I'm going to step behind this wall area thing, and uh, I'm going to mentally reach out to Helm and see what's up with him but i know i won't be able to do all that in this turn okay so i will keep that in mind for the next turn um okay loki you are up then sir oh well telling me to retreat was the opposite of what my plan was so i will have to modify Um, i mean you don't have to listen to me yeah but i tend to i'm going to use my pet action first and try to get Ned to fly up. Because he, he didn't let me ride him, yeah? No. Okay. So I'm going to ask him to fly up and try to stab the fire giant in the eye, preferably. And then move with whatever spate time he has left, move back toward where Thor is. Okay. Go ahead and roll a animal handling check. Um, at nine. Ned is a little shaken up. Uh, There is a lot going on, and he is slightly tired. So unfortunately, in the chaos, I'm actually going to move. I keep their boxes are so big. I'm sorry. Um, I got him. Thank you. Yeah, just I'm going to move him. Jesus Christ, I'm still moving him. I'm going to move him back a little bit. Just so you can get an idea of that fucking hitbox. That's okay, Ned. You need a break. Run away. Okay, um, then <laughs> what I will do is I will start to dart backwards, um, mm-hmm. and as I'm doing that, cast Ray of Frost, aiming for the giant's head. Okay, go ahead and uh, roll. Is that an attack roll? Yeah, it's an attack roll. All right, give it. Okay. Gimme. Goddamn, um, 17. 17 will not hit. As you whiz by this ray of frost, and he just tilts as. Oh no! Style. No, 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 no. Um, and I'll come back. Is this this is an actual wall, right? Yeah. And it's an actual wall. And these pillars are enough for me to hide behind. Yes. Eh, Sure. Okay. (laughs) Then I'll I'll stay. Yeah, I'm gonna go right here with the pillars. And, um, okay. yeah, that's the end of my turn. So, it is now, um, the Wrecker's turn. Uh, um... The who, the who now? Oh, the Wrecker. Um... Ralph. So, we're gonna move... Obviously. 30 feet forward. Thok, I need you to make a, uh, a strength save as he starts plowing and charging through. As you see walls just crumbling beneath his knees and his uh he's just bashing them 16 uh 16 you are uh knock uh prone do we still have the bear totem stuff no no it only lasts for a minute oh okay so the temporary hit points will still stay but the uh not for me they won't the strength checks are gone so gotcha okay so, sees uh, one person went behind a wall, and the other person went behind a column. Uh, so he is going to go ahead and make two great sword attacks—one at Loki and one at Thor. 
Would he be close enough that I can... I know I'm prone, but I can still attack prone, right? You can attack prone, but I believe it's at disadvantage. Oh, is it? I, I think so. I'll, I'll check on that. Um, I wouldn't say you have an opportunity of attack, though. Sure. Um, so first, I'm going to say Loki does a 23 hit. Uh, it does. Okay. Where, where is his hitbox? Would he be in my range? You would have to get a little bit closer to him. Okay. Uh, and uh, Thor does a 28 hit. Nope. Miss. All right. Well, we're going to use my fire dice today. No. And we'll do the first. Is that me? Uh, Carlos, you do have disadvantage on attack rolls. Got it. Okay. I, then. Just, I just looked it up. I'm awesome. gonna thank you, Pat. Not yeah. do that then. Okay. It'd be so cool if I was like good at math, guys. Hey. There's so much math in this game. I changed my mind. I am gonna do the opportunity. Because it's your reaction, isn't it? Yeah. That's if he leaves your your attack zone. Well, if Sentinel, if he attacks someone else, it's not me. I mean, can you do that on prone? I don't know. You're the DM. <laughs> I don't think Give it's me a moment. Um, so, first and foremost, uh, Loki, take 27 points of slashing damage, please. Okay. I will take 27. Uh, because he hit me, he takes 25 points of cold damage due to my armor of Agathist. Okay. And oh, you see yeah. him just get covered in this frost. Okay. We'll take the 25. And then uh, I'm going to go for the... The second for Thor. Okay. Okay. That is... Okay, Thor, you are going to take 34 points of slashing damage as this greatsword just careens and goes through. And then Thok... Um... I'm looking it up. Break down Sentinel again for me. Uh, it says... If only we a, had a TikTok series that explained when, things like this. When a creature within five feet of you makes an attack against a target other than you, you can use your reaction to make a melee weapon attack against the attacking creature. Okay. Uh, you um, can do it at disadvantage, so you could be, like, swiping at his ankle there. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. Uh... Action. Disadvantage. Oof. Man. 14? 14 will not hit. It was a tw natural 20 on a 4. Oof. No. Yikes. Could have taken his whole ankle off. I know. Oh, well. That was worth a shot. Definitely always worth a shot. Okay. And, uh, I believe that will be the end of the giant's turn. Just give me one moment, please. Okay, cool. Uh, so, Thok, it is actually your turn. If you'd like to use half your movement to stand up. I definitely will. Probably a good idea. Um, And being pissed that I missed off that first swipe, I'm going to take both hands on Eclipse, and I'm going to go straight for his ankle. Okay. Uh, damn, I can't rage. <laughs> That'll be a 22 to hit? 22 will hit. All right. So that'll be ugh, 10, 10 damage. Oh, wait, plus divine strike, plus five. So 15 damage, uh, magical, mm -hmm. and he is wounded. Okay. Um, so he would have to take his action to do a con save in order to end the wounding, or it just okay. keeps stacking every time and I hit him. And that takes his full, uh, his full action, yeah. correct? If I'm not mistaken, yes. I will double check, but okay. that, that sounds correct. So at the beginning okay. of his turn, he will take 1d4 for every wounding he has. Okay. Uh, on top of that, is there anything else that you're doing, Thok? Uh, bonus action since I swung and hit. I'm going to try to shove him. I know he's very big. Okay. It's contested strength, but, you know, okay. why not? Sure. I'm going to try to shove him prone. Uh, strength 
check. Okay. Not horrible. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Uh, he did get a natural 18. Oh, but he saved. So it's a little bit higher. Just a little bit. I won't, I won't say it, but a little bit more than two. We'll oh, God damn it. Sorry. Uh, I forgot. I don't so have my shield. So you shove, and the, that, that the was ankle all in my head. is weak. No, the ankle is weak, and you're going for it, but it seems with the uh, the way that the metals are inlaid in the armor, gives them a little bit more protection, a little bit more stability, unfortunately. Got it. Okay. That was also a shield master feat, and I don't have my shield on me right now because uh, I have a two-handed weapon. Sorry. Okay. So I, it's been a while. Take it back. That was all in my head, and I'm like, no, nah, it wouldn't work anyways. <laughs> okay. And that's uh, right. I'll stay where I am. Okay, then that brings us back to Alder. So, um, refresh my memory, fire giants are about like 20 or so feet tall, correct? Yep. Okay. Give or take. So, at this point, I would say Alder's probably flying about 40 feet above the ground. So mm -hmm. he's going to just kind of spin around and do like a little swoop in his eagle form just to build up speed to careen right into um, right into his face. Um, so he's going directly for the eyes and he's going to make a beak attack and a talon attack. Okay. To try and scratch his eyeballs out. Uh, that is Kate. Uh, so the beak attack is uh, not going to do it. That's a 12. Okay. Uh, that's going to miss. And I got a 23 on the talent attack. Okay. Go ahead and uh, roll the damage for the talent attack. Talent attack is going to be uh, 11 points of damage. Okay. Okay. So we'll take 11 and you kind of swoop down and you start scraping at his eyes and trying to bat you away as you swoop back over. Um, anything else on your turn, Alder? Uh, no, that'll end it. Um, yeah, that'll be it. Okay. Uh, that brings us to Thor. Right. So um, after getting like a third of the hit points I just got taken away from me. Mm -hmm. um, Thor is going to rise up off the ground, point Mjolnir at the giant's chest, and fire uh, a lightning bolt at fourth level. Okay. So he needs to make a dex save. Dex save. Yes, give me one second. Sure. Uh, okay, uh, he did crit. Okay, that's fine. He's yeah. going to take half damage anyway. Right. Okay, we're going to burn some sorcery points here to make this a little more palpable. Um, one, two... Yeah, I'll burn one uh, sorcery point to be able to roll re-roll these three dice. Okay. That was a good idea. So I've got 12, uh, 18, 28, 31, 36 points of lightning damage halved okay. to 18. Okay. 18. Got it. Okay. Anything else, Odinson? Uh, nope. That's all I got. He's calling you by your last name. We should I be know. afraid. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm frightened already. So, don't be afraid. Eh, maybe. Um. Oh, can I bonus action try and reach out to Helm, and just like, like mentally be like, reinforcements now. If they're there, it's time. Like just SOS. Things are happening. Okay. Uh, roll a religious check for me. Natural 20. Uh, for a 21 total. Okay. That's good. So good Jesus you check. do 
push out and you do feel a usually sometimes you'll feel resistance but you do feel a connection maybe on your next turn you may hear from them um it's because i'm scared and i peed a little that's why uh so that's what that's 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 what's uh anything else sir no that's it okay lovely son what are you doing right um i'll start with my pet action again and um look over to ned is he still seemingly fearful and tired go ahead and roll a uh investigation check for me jesus i cannot roll tonight uh six it's a bad night for that he is uh it's a little hard to kind of tell <clears throat> okay then i will just uh look over and yell fight with older the eagle Go ahead and roll a uh, an animal handling check, and then are you saying this? Do you speak Draconic? Um, yes. Okay, so I'm assuming you're shouting all your commands to him in Draconic. Yes. Um, yeah, go ahead and roll an animal handling check for me, please. Okay, that's much better. 18. 18? Okay. So with that, Ned will rise up, and he will... Uh, let's see here. He will dive... By Alder. Let's see if I can put him on a higher layer. And attack him in the eye. Yeah, I'll, I'll move over a little bit to help. <clears throat> sure. Um, okay, let me go ahead and roll. Okay. And he's going to go ahead and do a. He's just going to go for the the jugular. He's going to do a stinger attack. Ned, 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 Ned. He did get a natural 18, so that's good. Um, And then the giant will need to make a con save. He's probably good at those. He is very good at those. Uh, He will make the con save, so the poison is going to be half uh, damage, but... You're still doing, what did we say? The poison is not 76. It's, oh, we didn't talk about poison. No, we didn't. It's it's not 76, though. That's fair. That's a lot of D6s. Um, At some point, can you make me up a sheet for Ned? Yes, I will make you a Ned sheet. Yes, thank you. Okay. Oh, that's a very good hit. He really, okay. He fucks up the giant a little bit more. Charizard. Charizard. Oh, that's what Ned's short for? Yeah, Charizard. The Ned is silent. Don't get it, but I appreciate it. (laughs) Okay. Anything? uh, I know that you have your turn now, Loki. What are you doing? Yes. Um, So I would like to run this way. Let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's what I have. Yeah, so far over here. Um... I would like to as Give a bonus. Me one second while you move. One second. Sorry. I just want to make sure I because the hitbox. I want to make sure that you're not within his range. Yeah, where, where were you at? Um but hiding here behind the pole. Okay. So if you were about here, if it'll click. <laughs> it won't. Um if you were about here, you're good. If you were about here, there would be an opportunity of attack. Ugh. Okay, well, that's going to change it. I didn't realize the hitbox was that close. It's a very big hitbox. Yeah. He's got big arms. Yeah. Um, okay. What is that? Sorry, that was my phone. I, no. I apologize. No, you're fine. Um, fucking hell. That changes things just a little bit. I'm still going to bonus action, Shield of Faith. Um, Good plan. Just give me a little bit extra there. Let me just add that. Not override. Two. You know, the the music that I'm playing kind of sounds like Smash Brothers. I don't hate it. (laughs) <laughs> um okay so where so his hitbox is right here are you oh i see it now okay 
Wait, no, that's Dad's box. It's it's fairly wide. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to do that, and then I guess just cast... Uh, um, yeah, I'm going to have to do it. I'll do Ray of Frost again. So, okay. um, yeah, I just take in a deep breath, blow out right in front of me, and with my hands kind of create an, an arrow-type shape, more like a comet, and I, and I chuck it at him. Okay. Go ahead and roll that attack. Roll that attack. Uh, 11. 11 will, even with the scratches and the blood, he just kind of moves over and tum, kind of flies back again. He was going to be an 18. Anything else, bub? Uh, no. That's the end of my turn. Okay. We are on the fire giant turn. Um, give me one moment. I just have to check one thing. Okay. He, he takes two necrotic damage. Okay. We'll take two necrotic. Take that two. <clears throat> and yeah, fuck it. He's going to start swinging at Ned and uh, Alder. No, Ned. Fentanyl. Okay. Go ahead and hit him with Sentinel. Okay, so... 23 will hit. Get in his ass, Carlos! I mean, it's better than D&D Beyond. Dick twist him. Give me the old dick, dick twist. twist. That'll be 20 total. Ooh. Okay. Minus 20. That's and a good hit. Wounded again. Perfectly fine. Okay. So with that, uh, Ned is going to get hit with a 18, and Alder does a 19 hit. Uh, yes, it does. Okay. Or, yes, great. it does. <laughs> great, great, great. Okay, so I have to put hit points down for Ned. I'm I, Okay. No. So we're going to go with the... Does he have... How many hit points does he have in relation uh, to was... a 5e Wyvern? So 5e Wyvern has 110. I will say Ned has upwards of, we'll just say 87. 87, okay. Okay. Did he have the totem of the bear on him too? I, I think no, so. No, not when it was cast. No, not when it was cast. So. No, he was not in it. Uh, I, I recall nine. where it was, so. Okay. He's got 69 hit points. Nice. <laughs> Uh, okay. So we'll do the first hit for Ned. And there is just the the sword careening down and it actually clips the back of, of Ned's back as there's this shriek. Uh, okay. And then, oh, I didn't add that. Okay, hold on. No. Okay. It's a little bit more. It's not... As, it's not better, but it's not. But sixty-nine. <laughs> it's he's at exactly sixty-nine hit points. I thought um, the eighteen was how much damage he was going to take. No, that was his. Uh, that was the, the hit. Yeah, I see my mistake now. Class. Um. Okay, and then Alder. Okay. Okay, and then that's just another one of those. Okay. That is... Alder, you in your great eagle form is going to take 31 points of slashing damage as you are slashed at. And uh, Alder is fitting to revert back to being Alder. <laughs> okay, so you are currently falling to the ground? It's only a, probably about 15 feet up from where I was attacking at his head, so... Okay. Uh, from my understanding, I believe it was 20 feet, right? Well, I figured out attacking at his eyes, I was a little bit above, a little bit below his maximum height. Well, we'll just say for brevity, because we round up, we'll round up. Sure. sure. Uh, so as you are, I will say, I'll give you the, um, 
being on the ground so you can get up but um i will i'm just gonna roll for that um that smack fall, that fall for damage, the fall yep. damage yep so that is going to be an extra eight of fall damage as uh bird alder is gone and gambling man alder is back give me one second while i pull him back up right Ooh. here that's we him back. he's we on back the baby we back, baby. And he's superhero like, landing. He, so you guys just see the eagle like clawing at it. You're like, yeah, Alder, and then you just see smack. <laughs> oh, Alder. You just see hair and just an arm, <laughs> and you just hear. Uh, uh, and then that will be it for the giant. Uh, Thok, you are up. Um. I'm just gonna keep going at his ankle. Maybe I can slice it off. Yeah, I mean, you could try. Make him another Peggy. Uh, <laughs> twenty-seven. Another Peggy. Yes. Uh, twenty-seven will hit. Oof, not as good. Uh, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven damage total. Okay, 11 damage total. You get a fucking rock, and he goes down to one knee. Anything else? I can't do anything else. <laughs> I can't. Uh, bonus action. You can no. always free action cry. Uh, I'm just gonna free action yell. I'm like, are we still running? That's it. Okay. So, as we go to the top of the, the order, uh, before we get to you, Alder, uh, everyone make perception checks again. Bo uh, 14. Oh, double cocked. Fuck, you need to stop rolling on D&D Beyond. <laughs> Wait, is this something I can see? Uh... It might be. Why? Uh, if it's not something I can currently see, then don't worry about it. I have advantage on perception checks on things I can see. Don't worry, bud. You're going to see it. Uh, okay. What else we got? Uh, 16. 14. 16. Oh, wait. Do we all have to roll? Sorry. Yes. yes. Yeah. Sorry. I was looking something else. Uh, what are we rolling for? Perception. perception. You got a natural one. Cocked. You got a natural one? I did. Well, at least get the natural ones out of the way. Yeah. You're going to want them. Five. Okay. Doesn't take a lot. The earth begins to rumble again as the gate activates and coming out of it. Uh, more of that silvered cobalt, uh, not cobalt, sorry, onyx armor, high pauldrons. But instead of a sword or a, a hammer, you see two massive just shields scrape and plant themselves in the ground as we have another gentleman. Ugh. Some would say Wrecker 2. As he kind of cracks his neck, has this massive shield uh, helmet that's just covering most of his, his face, and you just see these two red eyes. Um, let's see what he's going to go for. Um, do, 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 do. Bum, bum. Da, 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 da. Quonk. Da, da, ba, da, ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba. My leg! So, <laughs> he is going to charge. Um, those who speak giant will hear him bellow, uh, I'm here, brother. As, tsh, 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 tsh. As we get a shield charge here. Um, Thok, I will... Uh, first, I need to see if you get hit. I'm sure I will. Okay, he did crit. Yikes. Ugh. That's a yikes for me and for you. Um, I'm not wearing, like, adamantine me. armor, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and make a, uh, a strength save for me. Oh my god, I am going to stop using D&D Beyond. Oh my god, please stop using D&D Beyond. Damn, <laughs> roll your dice like an adult. That's an 8. You got an 8? Yeah. 
Uh, okay. Um, just really quick, Thok. How attached to Thok are you? <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, oh, no, I'm just like Carlos is a person. I mean... You haven't been hit yet. You'll you'll be fine. Oh, he did. Uh, he did life transference, so... That's yeah, but every time I cast a healing spell, I, I heal as well. Exactly. It's a life cleric feat. <laughs> so he'll be fine. I have to give you a hint, I'm almost at full. I'm like okay. two hit points okay. shy from full. Okay. Uh, okay. So... Oh, man. The question is, do I really... Is any of this fire damage? Uh... Yes. So I'm fire do you resistant want me to because fire I'm wearing, damage for you first. Because I'm fire resistant, I'm wearing a ring of fire protection. Okay. So the fire damage won't do anything. It'll be halved. It'll be halved. Okay. Let me roll the fire for you first. Okay. Um, I'm glad I asked. <laughs> yeah. No, that's a very, very prudent point. Uh, okay. So that is an 11. So round that up to a six. Okay, so six. so six for the first. Okay, that is going to be. I need to rage so bad. <laughs> Why am I wearing full plate if armor? If only you could rage. Uh, that will be at first uh, eighteen. Yes, eighteen points of bludgeoning damage, and then. You will take a... You will be knocked prone again. All right. Okay. And then you will take another 21 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, and he did crit on the attack. So I'm going to roll for the fire damage again first. So that will be a seven. So round that to four yep. of fire damage. And then for the bludgeoning, that will be extra 21 points of bludgeoning. Okay. 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 So that is the first attack. Ew. <laughs> I'm not lying. Uh, and let's see here. I mean, yeah. <laughs> go for uh, it. He's going to go ahead and try to get for you again there, Thok. That's fine. I mean, you. I mean, it's the most logical, like, I'm slicing his brother's ankle up. Like, okay. He's it on is one a 19 knee. Hit. 19 does hit without my shield. Oh, and you're prone. Hold on. I, let me just see if I crit oh again. Oh, my God. Ew. He did it. He did it. Natural 12. You're okay. It's still going to hurt. <laughs> yeah, my AC is uh, okay. uh, 18 without the shield. Without the shield. Okay, so we'll do fire again first. All right. Okay, that is going to be 11 again. So just six. Six. Okay. 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 And I then think I'm that okay. is going to be uh, another 18 points of bludgeoning. 18. Mm hmm. Just for, for curiosity, do you know how much damage that was, Doc? In total? Yeah. Let me grab a calculator. Someone in the part. chat, do it. Um, <laughs> oh, no, I got it. Uh, Devin, do. Do math. Come on. That was 94 hit points in total. <sighs> okay. Great. So stay away from this guy if you want. Please don't. It's oh, I'm still to... up. Like. Okay. No, that's good. Um. And that is going to be yep, the end of their turn. Uh, Alder, you are now officially up, and you see these two massive giants while you are on your tummy. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, shit, guys. Um, uh, and I, I'm just going to uh, reach out to the one that I tried stabbing with uh, in, in my bird form, and I'm mm -hmm. just going to give him the finger and cast Blight. Um, okay. Yeah, so he needs to make a con save. Con save. Okay. Let's pull up your boy. Uh, con save. He got a 22. 
I don't uh, know about you, but I'm feeling 20. Uh, if I could get two more players to weigh in on the players chat, um, Mike and I have been having a discussion, so just oh, wow. poke okay. your head in, take a look. Alrighty. Sorry, I was getting my ass kicked. Yeah. We don't know what that feels like. Oh man, I lost one of my dice. Um, anyways, let me roll damage, even though he succeeded. Uh, that's... Oh, okay. Not, not bad. Uh, that's 16. That's... Four, and then I have two more dice still. Okay. Okay. Roll those up. Forty-four points of necrotic damage. Um, so Eliaris. he'll take half of that. How would you like to kill him? I'm going to reach out and like give him um, the elvish finger. Um, I, I want. I want him. To... Uh, essentially, I just want to, you just to start seeing the necrotic energy start coming out of his eyeballs, since that's where we were. I attacked in my bird form, until his eyes just kind of flicker, flicker, and then just explode with black death, and then he just kind of. Yep. You push out, and <sighs> he's just eviscerated into nothing. So now there are five dancers. One partner. Anything else, Alder? That will end my turn. Cool. Thor, you are up, sir. Uh, do I recognize this guy at all? Um, you can go ahead and roll an intelligence check. It's not going to be great. Let's see how racist uh, you are. Four. Fire Giants Wait, are very similar to Fire Giants, man. <laughs> uh... Unfortunately, it's hard to discern under the helmet. You do see the the eyes, the shields, and just the the, the glowing rage of the fire giant. Unfortunately, there are no other discernible features that you can see. Okay. Um, do I hear anything from Helm before um, I go into an attack? Unfortunately, you do not. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, well, I'm going to fly up and uh, use my full 60 feet to fly up and then uh, thunder slam down. He's got to make a deck save of 18. Okay. Okay, he got a natural 19. Motherfucker. He's going to take half damage. Okay. Um, I can reroll that. That's way better. 10, 17, 21. Uh, halved to math is hard tear 11 okay and then I'm gonna take uh, a double handed swing okay with uh, Mjolnir okay and if I go let me see if I can position myself like here mm -hmm. would I be at advantage because he's already engaged with Thok Thok is not prone what about Ned? So, I'm sorry? What about Ned? Uh, Ned would have to be on the ground. Okay. No worries. I'll just take the straight roll and see what happens. Uh, 27 to hit. 27 will hit. Cool. Um, oh, no. That D10 has been rolling well, and now it's not here. <laughs> that one is way worse, but I can reroll ones and twos. Still not as great as it should have been. Can we roll that? Stay the same. Okay. Uh, that is 12 more points of damage. So 23 total for the round. Okay. And then uh, that's all I got. Okay. Uh, then we will move on to Loki. Okay. Um, so I'm out of the hitbox, right? Because the other one died. Uh, let me check. Okay. You wouldn't be sure. You would. I mean that. That's fair. You you wouldn't be sure. That's this is more for my benefit. Well, I also wouldn't have thought that I was before because of how the image is set. I don't know where the box is. So. Um. 
Like, if I'm in a real fight, I know how far they can hit. I mean, they have two shields. They're not going to have the same kind of reach with a um, with the sword. But oh, right. I will say they're fairly long shields. That's as much as I can give you. Longer than the swords, though? I think it makes sense that I would know. Like, I can look at what they're doing. It's shorter than the sword, but they are long shields. Okay. Um, Thok, how, how you feeling? Hurt. Yeah? Like, <laughs> you need, do you need help? Uh, I think I can cover myself. If, but, I mean, I'm not going to say no to help. It's up to you. Do, do you think... Okay. Um, fuck. Okay. Uh, I will command or ask Ned to pick up Thok and get out of the way. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll an animal handling check at disadvantage. Disadvantage? No. He's right over the fucking person. Uh, no, I've got um, seven. Unfortunately, uh, Ned is very freaked out and very disturbed by the giant shields currently. Then run! Um, <laughs> then otherwise, where do I have to be to give Thor advantage? Hachi Machi. Um, you would... Let me just move... Can you move Ned for me, please? Yeah. Um, let's just say he ran off here. Sure. For now. Yeah. Um, I would say roughly like... It's a little hard. Uh, essentially, like here or here, because I'm trying to think of him like up straight. Yeah, I mean, I guess we kind of need to know what the hit is, because that's how it's determined, isn't it? The the hitbox. Because otherwise, like we're not supposed to be able to move through it. How are we doing it? I mean, you can attempt to to move through it. It's just you might get hit. Yeah, okay. Um, then I... Fuck. Things did not work the way I was hoping they would. Um, giants be giant, man. I know, giants be giants. Okay, then I will just move over toward the group here and okay. again cast Ray of Frost. Okay, go ahead and roll a... Uh... Attack roll. Um, 21. 21 will hit. Okay, finally. Ooh, finally. Thank you. All right. So that's um, three. I hit him with a 27. Yeah, but I haven't hit yet. He's missed two turns in a row. Uh, uh, 15 points of cold damage. Okay. Also, so uh, double that, and his movement speed is reduced by 10 until my next he turn. Is not, um, he is not vulnerable to fire. Or, I'm sorry, to ice. Damn it. Okay, well, his movement speed is still down to 10. Okay. Doesn't need that much movement. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, anything else? No, that's all I can do. Okay. So, uh, we are now at Thok's turn. I, feel, I mean, I'm assuming he's looking fine. Who, the, the giant? Uh-huh. Yeah, he's looking fine. Thank you for asking. Do I do this? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm going to try it. I'm going to use half my movement to get up. Okay. And uh, Loki just hit him with a bunch of ice. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pick one off the ground, point it at him. And I'm going to cast Banishment. So I need a Charisma Saving Throw. Charisma Saving Throw. Okay. And it's for a minute, right? Correct. Okay. But if I keep it there for a minute, and it's his home plane of existence, he's stuck there. Okay. He's stuck there, like, he can't teleport back out, or if there's a door, he can walk through it again. Like, he doesn't come back because of my... 
spell. He did get Who's a natural spelling? 19. Oh, fuck. I knew I shouldn't have done that. Cool. cool. No, it was a, it was a good it was a good try. These dice are just these fire giant dice uh, are like fire giants. They are cracked, my friend. Am I still within his area of influence from here? Because that's as far as I can go. Yes. Okay. That'll be my turn. Okay. Um, so we will go to the top of the order. So we are now at the wrecker. Um, did you make a fart noise? Maybe. This is because you don't like him. Prove it. Ow. I'll wipe them. Is that in a court of law? Oh, when I ran, can I change Eclipse out for my shield and my mace while I'm running? Uh, yeah, Is that a thing? To do that? I don't know. Like, I thought it was like a thing that you could just like stow a weapon and grab a weapon. I didn't know. I. I... Is it a bonus action? Let's find out. Um. Okay. Uh. You know what? We'll just say, for instance, uh, yes, you could do it as a free action. All right. So you can either, oh, it's either draw or stow. So you can stow it, and then on your next turn, you can pull it out. Got it. So you can take it apart, but you can't flip switch it out yet. But you could do it at the top of your turn. Okay. 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 Right. Then never mind. Okay. All right. The more you know. Anything else, Doc? No. Sorry. That's okay. We are going to go to the top of the round, and with their ten, uh, they're going to go for Thor with one shield and Thok with the other shield. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Uh, Thor does a 26 hit. Yeah, it does. That's you know what? That's really honest of you, and I admire that. <laughs> I know it was real like close. Like others, it was real close. Um, and then I got a natural nineteen thock for a. Oh. I, I just want to say it. Forty-seven. For a thirty-two. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like, was a bear shit in the woods? Yes. Yes, it does. Does the Tin Man have a sheet metal cock? I mean. Right. Yes to both. Um, I, so we'll do. Um, okay, let's just do. We'll do uh, Thor first. Cool. Because then I can go pee. Okay. I didn't try the AC yet. Damn it. Um, okay. Okay, there's that, and then okay, Thor, you're going to take 25 points of uh, damage, and um, six of that is going to be fire. Okay. Okay, and then go. Okay, actually, when he comes back, I'm going to have him make a, uh, a shrink save. Um, I guess, okay. Now we're going to do Thok. So I'll do your fire damage first because we you have the resistance. Correct. So that is going to be a seven. So four. 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 Okay. At least he distributed it this time, right? Mm-hmm. And who says I'm not a nice guy? Josh. Josh would say I'm not a nice guy. Is it Dick? It looks, it looks quaint. <laughs> no. I'm thinking. And scheming. Thinking and scheming. Um, and scheming. Doc, you're going to take 21 points of uh, legendary damage. And that drops me to zero as I go back to one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, um, I do need you to make. That's ooh, ranked today. It drop down to one. I will say you're pro. Only okay. because you dropped and you were going to have to make a strength save. I don't think you were going to make it. <laughs> so for brevity, you're just going to back. Uh, let's see when Pat puts his headphones back on. We'll just catch him up. 
Okay, Pat, just to catch you up, uh, Thok did use his orcish ability, so he is currently at one hit point on his back. And uh, I need you to make a strength save for me, bud. Me? Yes. Okay. Good. Strength save. Uh, not good. 15. Okay. You are also knocked prone, and you take... That is... Take an extra 22 points of bludgeoning damage as you are pushed to the ground, knocked prone. Great. Julio. Alder, you're up. So, to recap, you've seen Thaka go down and then gasp for her air that you've seen a few times before so you do uh know that he is not doing so hot my guy um yeah and thor is also prone and i'm i'm just going going to to breathe and just be like think 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 and i'm going to reach into um my component pouch and i'm just gonna pull out a couple of like what looks like peanut shells and just gonna be like think 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 and i'm just gonna crush them together and i'm going to cast confusion on the fire giant okay what's the so, save for that uh that is a wisdom save of 18 okay let's see wisdom save of 18 yep okay they did fail <laughs> okay um so Essentially what happens is the spell assaults and twists uh, creatures' minds, spawning delusions and provoking uncontrolled action. Each creature in a 10-foot radius sphere centered on the point you choose within range must succeed a wisdom saving throw when you cast the spell or be affected by it. The affected target can't take reactions and must roll a d10 at the start of each of their turns to determine its behavior for that turn. Um, at the end of each of its turn, it can make a wisdom saving throw to succeed against it. Um it'll end for the target. So at the beginning of his turn, you have to roll a D10 and I'll let you know what you do. Sure. Give me one second. I'm just going to put an orb of, you said it was 10 foot as a, yeah, a 10 foot uh, radius sphere centered on the point you choose. And uh, I just I put it right over it. It's, it's, it's not like it's something that stays there. Like anyone who steps in, it becomes confused. It's just when I cast it. So, okay. so, so yeah, so I just want to use this as a point of reference. There. That's yeah, all. Of course. So, so we're yeah, good? Um, yep. he is officially confused. Okay. Anything? Uh, anything else? Um, since he can no longer take reactions, I am going to back away and encourage that everybody potentially do the same. Okay. With that, we are back at Thor. Uh, okay. Got rocks like a hurricane. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to, upon Alder's request, I'm going to use 15 feet of movement to get up. That only gets me about here, which is not great. Um, <coughs> I'm going to look at Thok. Would I have also seen him... Uh, kind of like lose consciousness and come back. Yes, I'll say that you've seen that. Okay. So I'm going to kind of uh, get up and brush some blood and debris off of my body. And I'm going to double hand Mjolnir and point it at the giant and tell him to go back to hell. And I'm going to cast Chain Lightning on him okay. and he has to make a deck save of 18 deck save of 18 good answer good answer no whammies he uh botched ooh that sounds lovely mm -hmm. okay I am going to um I've got two Metamagic's left and I'm going to burn both of them okay. and reroll these six dice because you said he did not save 
So this is the time to like try yeah. and go all in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Could have been better. Could have been worse. Um. All right. So that's ten d eight lightning damage. Um. Okay. So sixteen. 26, 27, 28, 30, 44, 48 points of lightning damage. Okay. okay. And that's all I got. Okay. Literally all I got. <laughs> it goes under the armor and he's tenses up, freezes from the electroshock. Uh, and with that, we will move on to Loki. Okay. How's he looking? Pretty good. Pretty good? Well, go ahead and roll an investigation check. Okay. I'll give you some... Uh, maybe you can get an insight. Um, 15. He's pretty banged up, but he doesn't look to be tired at all. Okay. So he's on meth. Um... <laughs> I will use Floridian fire giant. Yeah. That's all. I will use my pet action to request that Ned uh, picks up Thok and flies him to safety. Okay. Go ahead and roll a animal handling check. 12. I said Uh, please. um, You did say please. (laughs) Um. Ned, I will say, swoops down in Overthock, but unfortunately he does not pick him up due to fear. <sighs> okay, so does he... Do- he does protect him with his body. Okay. Um, just so I can move Loki. Sure. Okay, so he's protected. Um, I was here, 5, 10, 15, 20. So I'm going to come over here near, near where Manu is. And yeah. I'm going to look around. So he destroyed a bunch of the columns, right? Correct. So the giant previous to him, uh, let me see here if I can show. When they charged, they broke essentially this to rubble. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is look at one of them and find one that's approximately 25 pounds or just shy of it. And I'm going to cast Catapult. Okay. Um, so I will put my hands out toward the, the piece of rubble, swing it around, and chuck it as if I'm throwing okay. it myself. Okay. And he needs to make a deck save of 17. Deck save of 17. Okay. Yes. Come on. Come on. Okay, deck save. He did get a 17. Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it. No, I'm not. I'm not. I promise. So nothing fucking happens. Uh, there's no half damage for No, nothing 17? fucking happens. No, nothing fucking happens. Josh is Josh is mad. Stupid, nothing fucking happens. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not pulling punches no more. Your final act before your brother dies is to throw a rock and you missed. Yeah, but it was a big rock. Yay. It was hard. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fuck. It is your turn. And just to keep in mind, he does not have a reaction. Uh, no, I I keep that in mind. I um, need to cheese it. My suggestion would be to fucking velvet it, my guy. I will use half my movement to get up. Okay. I will use my action to activate my channel divinity, preserve life giving 25 to hit points to Don, uh, uh, th- uh, Thor, oh, oh, Thor is my and 25 hit points to myself. Right. Uh, no, I wish I had 126 hit points. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I healed all the way. Wow. <laughs> what are you doing? Like, get your shit together. Um, and then, knowing he, <laughs> I'm gonna, like, run under Ned's wing. There, because that's as far as I can go. <laughs> Yep. And bonus action cry. 
you can always bonus action cry. Okay, speaking of bonus action cry, we're gonna we're gonna butter some bread. Roll uh, that d10, baby. Roll a That's d10. That's right. I do have to roll a d10. My mistake. So confused as fuck. Sapuku. Sapuku. <laughs> please, 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 please. I don't see a seppuku option, but you know what? If I roll a 12 with this D10, seppuku is definitely on the table. Hell yeah. Oh, oh, oh just shit. I, really, I did a 12. Uh, no. Uh, let me see here. So just to kind of keep it fair, just so you guys can see it, this is going to be one o'clock. Two o'clock. Three o'clock. Yeah, like a clock. Four o'clock. I don't have ten. I don't have twelve. Hold on. Uh -oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're going real far. Seven. I know. <laughs> so you rolled. I don't one? have like a. a, a What's the number? Group. It's a uh, D eight. Oh, so, so out of eight. Oh, okay. Out of eight. Let me see so if you, I can. Just so, like a compass rose. Exactly. North, northeast, south, southeast. So, east, east. let's see uh, where they're gonna go. One. So it will be. I have to go back to the objects there. Okay. So like... it will move. In this direction, it's full of movement, and it doesn't do anything. Oh my god. Nice. So you can make, um, you are allowed save. to make an, another wisdom save if you want to try and break the spell. I would love to try to break my spell. Well, I hope Without. that you don't. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, reindeer games. Didn't make it. Okay. okay, that brings it to um, uh, to be, to me, right? It will yeah. be your turn, Elder. Yes. All right. Uh, well, Big Dick is back in town. Let's go. Town. And then um, I'm just gonna like kind of like I guess if, if you'll allow it as a free action, and I'm just gonna shout to everyone. The fuck are we doing? You We're can still do a fighting a what? To, to, to yell. Are we still fighting? Do you need healing? What am I doing? I'm running. Fuck this shit. Uh, Thor has not broken eye contact with the fire giant. Okay. Loki is also burning holes into the fire giant's face. Okay, well that answers that mo that question. Uh, then in that case, I'm just gonna say, so we write it out, Thok, and I'm just gonna do what I did last time, and I'm just gonna go ahead, and this time, fully cocked double thing double finger guns, and not at fourth level, but at fifth level, I'm gonna cast blight um, at this motherfucker and try and drag him down. So uh, make make that con save, baby. Okay. Twenty-two. I don't care that it's a success, because he still takes nine d8 necrotic damage, only halved. So okay, that is uh, thirteen, uh, sixteen on the first three. Uh, let's see, plus nineteen. Thirty-five. Oh no, no, not plus nineteen. Sorry, uh, nineteen plus another six is twenty-five. Um, and then the last three, ooh, last three, really good. Um, that's 35 plus eight, 43 points of necrotic damage. So a half to 22. Okay. As you see this necrotic energy spill out of Alder once again and just careen into this giant. And I, at that point, I'm just going to, uh, I took two steps forward to be able to hit him. I'm going to 
go back my full movement from here. Mm-hmm. That should be... A, I think I got one more square in me to go back, th- use my 35 feet of movement. Um, so I can go down that step a little bit for some cover, potentially. Um, okay. And I'm, I'm just going to say... I only got so much left, guys. Let's go. Let's get it done. And that'll end my turn. Okay. Let's kill this motherfucker. Thor, you're up. Great. Um, I'm going to move within 20 feet of him. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to throw Mjolnir twice. And kind of pray. Uh, it's a 23 for the first hit. 23 will hit. 22 for the second. 22 will hit. Um, let's go. This one. Can we roll that? Much better. Uh, 10. Fuck. 10 bludgeoning and mm-hmm. 6 lightning for the first hit. Okay, so 16 altogether? Yeah. Okay. And then that is 12. Can we roll that? Oh, fuck. Uh, plus four for another 16 on the second hit. Okay. And you're just rocking his shit? Um, yeah, and that's all I can do. So, yeah, I have my turn. Okay. Loki. Um, okay. I will... How's he looking? Go ahead and roll investigation. Nope, that's outside. Um, investigation 18. Okay. He is looking pretty banged up. Okay. Looking a little winded. Then I'm going to first say... Uh, use my pet action and request that Ned please go stab him in the face or the neck whichever he feels more comfortable doing uh, the okay. neck face you know go ahead and roll uh, animal check okay. animal handling come on nine Ned is still shooketh and Ned will actually move back. Mm, okay. 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 So now what I'm hoping is that... Uh, fuck, I don't know. Yeah, I'm hoping... Let's try this. I am going to... Fuck, I can't do that. Can I? No, I can. Okay, so I'm going to run toward him so 5 10 15 20 okay and as he focuses on me all in one fluid motion i'd like to bonus action misty step behind mm-hmm. him so i'm going to go 30 feet to 5 10 15 20 25 30 so i guess i'll go i'll go 30 feet full movement so i can okay. get back here behind him and I would like it to be a surprise, but I will ray of frost him right in the butthole. Butthole sure. frost. I love it. Yeah. Butt chug that cold hair, bitch. Not your ring piece. It's like a bidet, but with cold water. Yeah. But like literally ice. So I'm going to close up his asshole so he can't shit anymore. So even if he doesn't die now, in time the feces will build up in his intestines and Josh, he will die all your fucking attacks, please. <laughs> Do I get advantage I don't need on to it? Because it's advantage. a surprise. No! I went behind him. He didn't think I was there. Well, your attack. Okay, 18. 18 does not hit. I didn't think so. Then everything fucking sucks. Everything's dead. Nothing you matters. Try to, try to freeze up that, that bee hole. I tried to freeze up the booty hole. Oh, man. Uh, okay. Anything else, Luke? No, I've got nothing left. Okay. Fuck. Well, 
he ran. So that's his turn. Uh, he's not looking great. No, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna cast um, Beacon of Hope. Uh, every creature that's my ally within 30 feet of me. So that's me. I think it's all of Thor. you. Or me. I think it's all of us, but Loki, who ran before I was able to do it. <laughs> um, so you have advantage on wisdom saving throws, death saving throws, and you regain maximum amount of hit points from any healing. And then as a bonus action, I'm going to chug a standard potion, which will give me the maximum amount. So that's 10 hit points. Okay. And I'm going to run with Tiburon behind that wall. Smart. Hold each other. Okay. Anything else, Doc? That's all I could do. Oh, I can't do that. That's it. So, everyone make uh, perception checks. Oh, fuck. I can't roll for shit tonight. Uh, 18. 9. Ugh, 14. 28. Okay. So, all four of you feel a rumble. The gate activating once more. Once more, another worthy challenger for our mighty Vindran's Valor. And first, there is a mighty warhammer that is a flame that points out. And it's inlaid with blacks and golds, as it's attached to a golden and black gauntlet. As another fire giant comes out. But where fire giants and their, their hair and their eyes are fire esque, this person's hair is on fire, their beard is on fire. You see this massive mask that's just covering the front of their face, and you can only see the top of their head and their eyes in this black and gold um, armor. And behind it is a sun crest, almost like a crown, as uh, the last fire giant comes out. And he kind of just tilts his head and looks at all of you. Looks over at the, uh, the giant, and those who speak giant, you hear him simply say yield, and the giant releases the tension. You actually see Ned put his head down. And so the other head cocks over and goes, so where's your queen? And we will end it there. Oh, I have to check boy. the AC. <sighs> so, um, God. that was an ass kicking that we've been waiting for for quite some time. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching another episode of Dungeons and Dragons and Junk Drawer. Ding. Ding. Josh, Solemn that was a ding. very unenthusiastic Yeah, I ding. make the dinks how I want. It's my ding. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, we will be back next week with an all-new episode. Uh, so please come hang out with us. Uh, I promise Josh isn't always this surly. Um, mm. Come watch us get murdered by Flevlog, probably. So... Mm. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for checking everything out. We will be back next week. Have a great week, everybody. Don't forget to wear your mask. Get your vaccine, and we'll see you fuckers next time. Josh, do you want to read people in the chat? Yes, you read my mind. What a beautiful, smart, pretty boy. Big old thank you to us, because we're all in here. Uh, Devil in 07, Gandalf the Babe, another TV viewer, Atten, Commander Root, Janal, uh, Shwarma Chameleon, which is definitely not me. And then uh, thank you, JBJ underscore BJB. He's sitting right next to me. And I want to say a big old thank you for throwing uh, puppies in the chat. Puppies. There puppies he is. Chat. There's his hand. Puppies in the chat. All right. Thanks, we everyone. The puppies. You know, like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. And uh, we love you very much. And follow us. Follow and us. And we're going to die.
Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're all going to die. Bye. Someday.